Hello my 10th grade champions, how are you all doing? I hope very very well and welcome to your summary under 10 minute session with me. Today we'll be covering chapter 8 from first flight which is Midgebill the Otter. But before we get started, let me know if you're finding these sessions helpful and if you enjoy them, leave your feedback in the comments. Now, what are we waiting for? Let's get to it. So, Midgebill the Otter, written by Gavin Maxwell, is a story which describes the beautiful bond between him and his pet otter, Midgebill. The story begins with the writer Gavin Maxwell who was travelling to Basra in Iraq with his friend to collect and answer their mail from Europe. During their journey, Maxwell expressed his desire to keep an otter as a pet instead of a dog as he felt very lonely after losing his pet dog earlier. His friend suggested he get an otter from the Tigris marshes in Iraq. When they reached the destination, his friend received the mail immediately, while Maxwell had to wait for a few more days to receive his mail. Once he received his mail, he took the sack that was brought by two Arabs carrying a message from his friend and discovered an otter inside it. He named the otter Midgebill and often referred to it as Midge. It took a little while for the little creature to adapt to its new surroundings. But soon, Midge got used to his surroundings. He started playing with water and learned to open the bathroom faucet on its own. The writer was thoroughly amazed with the games played by Midge. Soon, it was time for Maxwell to return to England with his pet otter. However, the British Airlines had a few restrictions that barred animals from travelling with human beings. So he booked another flight that allowed Mitch to travel with him. The new airlines insisted that Mitch should be packed in a box so that it didn't disturb the other co-passengers. So Maxwell arranged for a box an hour before the flight, put Mitch Bill inside the box and left to grab a quick meal. When he returned, he found that Midge had injured himself inside the box. He took care of Midge Bill and cleaned the box and reached the airport. When he boarded the flight, he explained the entire incident that just happened to an air hostess who advised him to keep his pet on his lap rather than locking him inside the container. Maxwell was thankful for her kind words. But the moment he opened the box, Midge leaped out and vanished in thin air and it caused chaos in the flight. Many co-passengers were shocked seeing the little creature moving around. But the kind-hearted air hostess took Midge and handed it back to Maxwell in no time. Soon they reached London and Maxwell thanked the crew for their support on board. Now in London, Midge got used to its surroundings gradually. It started playing with marbles and ping pong balls. The writer was also amazed by the game that Midge had developed with his broken suitcase. Maxwell often took Midge for a walk and the people of London would make wild guesses about his pet. People confused Midge for a baby seal, a beaver, a squirrel and there were still a few more who would refer to him as a hippo. The most shocking response that Maxwell received from a labourer who was digging a hole when he asked him, Here, mister, what is that supposed to be? That brings us to the end of our cute little story with Maxwell's pet otter, Mitch Bill. Now, before I say goodbye to you, few reminders. Ante is coming up. Enroll for free right away. You can appear online, you can appear offline, you can win up to 100% scholarship, you will get your All India rank. But even if that's not enough for you, you stand a chance of winning an all expense paid trip to NASA. So don't miss out on this opportunity. Enroll right now. And as always, a lot of you have told us how interested you are in becoming better English speakers. So here's a program designed specifically to help you out. The Baiju Spoken English Classes, 
with a curriculum crafted by experts and Cambridge certified teachers to help you practice and get better at your English speaking skills. If you want to become more confident speakers, then this is the best program for you. So what are you waiting for? You have a two months confident speaker program available to you at a much lower cost. So link is in the description. Don't lose out on this opportunity. The offer is not going to be there forever. So go and enroll right away. As always, we've got you covered. So all you need to do is like, subscribe and press the bell icon so you do not miss out on any of the updates. See you next time.